Okay, so this is the gear clock. The time is currently about 11.21, let's say. Uh, this is the hour gear, so it's 11. And this is the minute gear, and it's just past 20, so I'm going to call it about 21. It consists of six gears, and right now it's being driven by this uh, stepper motor that's right here with a small gear. And obviously I'll just walk you through the gears. It's very simple. The small uh, gear here turns the minute hand, or minute gear I should say. The minute gear has a smaller gear connected to it, which in turn turns the center gear. The center gear has a smaller gear on it, which in turn turns the hour gear. Uh, one revolution of the minute gear obviously is one twelfth of a revolution of the hour gear. Um, there's a small circuit board in behind here with a microcontroller on it. And the microcontroller is what is timing this to activate. There's a, a crystal oscillator on there. And every nine seconds this will actually pulse um, four times. There's two buttons on here. I can increment time, decrement time. Or if I push them both, it actually releases the uh, stepper. So I'm able just to uh, manually control time if, it, if it's uh, more than a few minutes away. When you release it, it's back to automatic control. And again, every nine seconds, this will advance time to keep uh, track of time properly. And there we go. Here's all of the MDF parts that are fresh out of the CNC machine. And this is a picture of the circuit board. This does all the timing. You'll see at the bottom of this uh, board, there's those two buttons. Um, the left one is increment time. The right one is decrement time. In the center, there's the microcontroller, which is the brains of the, uh, the entire clock. Here's a picture of the stepper motor. And to uh, fix it properly, it was actually epoxied in place. Uh, this is the only glue that was actually used in the system. So as you can see, the wiring is very, very simple. There's one 12 volt DC line that comes in bottom center of the screen and it uh, basically powers up the controller and the controller has five lines that go over to the stepper motor. Cable ties were uh, very important here to secure the lines uh, to the back plane. Uh, this kept them out of the way of the gears and uh, just made sure that everything was nice and neat. And here's another look at the clock. It was supposed to turn out a bit more black than silver, but uh, with the white lettering, I'm, I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. If you have any more questions or need some more information, please go to alanparek.com.